Yeah, Ice Beam in. Is Yasha Berry and Marvel Scale. That's incredibly aggressive. Let's see. Alright, what is up you guys? As always, welcome back to what this should be my last game with Electivar Week. And going up against Dranis. And um, yeah, hope for no Ubers. Like I said, it's been um, a situation recently, but this looks just about right. One thing that scares me here is um, that there are so much... It's not bulk, it's rather... You know, Ir Iridactyl is amazing. Just a freaking force of nature. And so are the other ones. I really need to get myself um, Hasses up. But Stormer looks about right. I don't deal well with Kickleon at all. Um, <clears throat> this is a very good matchup for my opponent. I think I need to bring Flagon and Uter basically and hope we can get something out of it because right now I am looking at a really, really ferocious matchup. If he leads off Mamoswai, which could be a thing. Um, I need to switch out anyway. Leads up with Aerodactyl. Um, <clears throat> Aerodactyl has a really strong, um, like, niche set right now, which is probably the reason it's OU. It is a phenomenal suicide lead, much like, um, uh, much like, um, what do you call it? Um, Azulf. But I think this guy does it better, mainly because it is very, very reliable of getting rocks up. And a very scared one at that of pulling it off. Um, yeah, I think I gotta do this play. It is not my best, but I have to do it. Taunt. That's fair. Yeah, like I said, great anti lead. And I'll go for an ice beam here. I think it's my safest move. Goes for stealth rock. They're here to stay. Or they're not here to stay, but I'm definitely not going to have an easy time trying to take them away. <laughs> Ice Beam should take him out. And that's that. So he got exactly what he needed. I can't set up my own rocks, and he sure as hell can uh, keep his for a while. This is a Moltres and inherently really weak to it. And he's going to go for his free setup. That's not great. Um, yeah, Ice Beam in. Is Yasha Berry and Marvel Scale. That's incredibly aggressive. Yeah, Ice Beam in. Is Yasha Berry and Marvel Scale. That's incredibly aggressive. Let's see. Thunder Wave. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. But my taunt is over, which is good. He has yet to attack me, and since I was faster, I'm gonna go for stealth rocks here. Yeah, he withdraws nice. Goes into Stami. Huh. And I gotta get my rocks up. And, um, I mean, hopefully I can U turn out. I have yet to, you know, lose my poor momentum right now. Yeah, Thunderbolt. He says aggressive, which I like. And I get the U-turn, which I like even more. Ooh, that, that's some nice damage right there. And I mean, I, I should go Flygon and U-turn again. <laughs> and just take him out. <laughs> that's gotta be the play. And if, if I am successful in this, I think... Oh, he stays in. I don't know about that. I'm killing this Starmie. Because now at least my rocks are here to stay as long as he is, doesn't have like a defog variant of... Well, why I really couldn't tell. Um, <clears throat> gotta bring Electivire. I think it disbades the most mons in. But I'm just thinking here. Um, his Dragonite could maybe be a defogger, but I think that's about it, right? Mammoth Swine, yes. Mm. 
Is he scarfed? Damn, I don't like this matchup. Um, bringing the Rixie again. Basically, I don't want to take a Quake, but he might as well lock himself into an Icicle Crash, right? Even more aggressive goes on knockoff and just takes me out. Icicle Crash, ugh. Let's see, 130 bay. Oh, we took it. We took it somehow. Leftovers. Okay. Huh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I can always save this guy. Though it is dead. Oh, a second. I go for a U-turn in case it does something weird, but... Yeah, like... Oh, I don't know if Ice Shard takes me out. Yo! <laughs> I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. <clears throat> All right, um, well, if it's leftovers, then crush up should be the play, right? I'm gonna rely on those 80%. I know I have the Lucario, I know I can meteor mash, but it's the Electivar away. We, we should do Electivar. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. No! <laughs> oh, fuck this game sometimes. <laughs> well, well, that saw me. <laughs> no, why did that have to happen? Fair enough, go for the meter mashing. Ah, she just do the most safest move in the game. Why do anything else, right? Fuck, that's so frustrating. <laughs> Is this second this though? I mean, I need to get the rocks out somehow. I barely remember the team. I use Mammoth Swine, I forget a normal type, and a Dragonite. Let's see, switch into Dragonite, which. I'm sure it dies to this, actually. Oh, I'm pretty sure it dies. I am. Choice, Bandit, Meteor Mash. Have a small chance of missing, but. I mean, that's about it. Pff, piss off, mate. And yet to get those attack increases. Like, I can miss with 20%, but I can't get an increase with 20%. I'm, I'm just crunching numbers. Oh yeah, I had a Tangrove. Which should have Earthquake, right? Let's see if we can break this guy apart a little bit. Meteor Match does get attacked, increase. No, he misses Sleep Power, however. That's great. in an environment that isn't that very great. Should I kill myself through rocks is the question. I think I should. And... Um, hmm. I guess I was pretty sure he had Snorlax. Sleep Powders. Powders. Flame Pro should be relatively safe. And yes, I know, I should probably spin. That's a that's an inherently question I always have. But Mammoth Swine is not a switch in, nor is Tangrov living this. So I like this scenario a lot. I'm just... I'm pretty sure he had Snorlax. Brings the Mammo, alright. I'm gonna show you my tech, because I'm pretty sure I would speed. And I'm pretty sure I can take an eye shot, so... Showing the tech! This is why I use Moltres! Power Herb Solar Beam is, um... Really, really solid. I always speak of those one-trick ponies, and they look like that. Now I'm done. 
I'm so glad I wasn't a scarfed mammo. At the same time, oh, it was the kick Leon. I remember. I said it was a normal type. Now, it could be carrying Rock Blast, however, and they are especially defensively dangerous. So, with that in mind, um, I'm flamethrowering, just doing damage. And um, we did alright. Substitute. Oh, no. Everybody lock them to Electric Avenue. And then we take it higher, 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 higher. You see, Sucker Punch is question. I'm, I'm roosting on this. <laughs> it could have been a mistake, depending if it carries Rock Slide. <laughs> Let's see. Shadow Ball becomes a ghost type. They aren't that specially offensive, though, alright? I could be wrong. But yeah, no. No. No, 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 no. Of course. I love that I say that and then it got screwed over anyway. We're breaking the sub. Um, <clears throat> I'm still thinking I'm in a good spot, but that, that's not going to be annoying. I've actually seen people use um, Shadow Ball on the mill tank lately. I, I like that instead of going scrappy. It's the peak of insanity. I love it. You should have Sucker Punch, right? That's half the trick with Kecleon or Shadow Sneak for that matter but there we go GG um, I'm like I said very happy with this team Drains thank you so much for the game and very nice sets um, and Mesprit getting you know the most of this, this game I love it I love Mesprit it is so underrated this bolt beam meta that's it guys as always thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this game and I'll see you guys with a new team next week. Until then, take care everyone, alright? Bye.